Before he started as a full-time sports writer out of college in 1980, Paul Schofield's exposure to high school wrestling was minimal. As a kid, he remembers watching the state finals on WT TV, hearing about faraway places such as Tyrone or Shikolami or Shichini and wondering what they were like. When he graduated from Frazier in 1976, the school didn't have a wrestling team. While a student at California State College, he remembered seeing national champion wrestler Builder Powerly jogging around campus at all hours of the day and night to make sure he made weight. When he started at the Connellsville Daily Courier in 1980, Schofield covered the Peer Wrestling Championships for the first time in 1981, Connellsville, Mount Pleasant and Southmilland had good teams, so, to do his job well, he had to learn about the sport. He picked the brain of legendary Falcons coach Tom Dolder. He listened to the radio broadcast team of Sully Gambon and Don Lynn while watching matches so he could learn the moves. He quickly got the hang of it, and, more than four decades later, Schofield is one of the most respected writers covering Pennsylvania high school wrestling. On Saturday night, he will be inducted into the Southwestern Pennsylvania Hall of Fame during Pittsburgh Wrestling Classic festivities at Peters Township. It's something you never expect, but it's neat to be honored by your peers and coaches and former wrestlers that I've covered, Schofield said. Schofield said some of his favorite stories have involved underdogs rising up and doing something extraordinary, such as winning a state championship. He's covered his share of favorites, of course, as well. At the risk of forgetting someone he would have liked to mention, he rattled off a list of athletes whose amazing accomplishments he chronicled. And, Lawrence, happens to be from my alma mater. He's stolen my thunder, Schofield joked. Schofield does not have a hard time singling out the best high school wrestler he's ever covered. Number one would be Spencer Lee, he said. What a super kid he is, a great individual. Schofield especially remembers telling the story of the time the Franklin Regional grad, when he was in eighth grade, decided to challenge his mother, a former Olympian, to see if her jiu-jitsu game was still strong. She tapped him out, Schofield said with a laugh. Since starting at the Tribune Review in 1995, Schofield has covered 30 state tournaments. At least one Westmoreland County wrestler has brought home gold from all 30. Needless to say, Schofield has seen dramatic changes in the sport. He saw the power in peer wrestling shift from the eastern half of the state to the west. Within the wheel, he's seen the hotbeds move from Washington and Greene counties to Westmoreland and Fayette counties. The sport has changed, he said. A lot of the moves haven't, but it's changed. Kids are stronger nowadays.